Thank you again for liking, sharing and subscribing and of course returning to my channel. I really do appreciate all the comments and the likes so thank you so much for doing that. For those that were after private readings my email is listed below this video along with reading types and prices. Otherwise get straight into it. What do we have here? Ten of Swords. The Moon. Four of Cups. The Temperance card. Two of Cups, very nice. And the Four of Swords. Okay, starting off on the top left, we have the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of, Sto Ten of Swords, sorry, do speak of stagnancy. They do speak of um, maybe obstacles, turbulent times. <clears throat> I really feel like with the Ten of Swords, something is coming out of stagnancy, though, because we see the darkness is lifting. There's a new horizon here. There's big changes coming in and there's a new dawn. So I think a lot of you are coming out of a lot of things, whether this is coming out of relationships, coming out of a job, coming out of a company, um, coming out to the world with something you've been working on potentially as well. Um, this can indicate that something is ending, but with this new ending, there is a beginning. So the 10 can be this new beginning that I'm speaking about. Uh, you know, we see the swords here. It's also mentally putting an end to thoughts or a thought process as well, possibly. But for the most part, I think it's really positive. If it's in a love situation, I think you're getting rid of the darkness. So you may be getting out of this um, phase. If you've been a phase of conflict or lack of intimacy, <clears throat> or you haven't been feeling connected with your mate, then I think with this uh, Ten of Swords, it's speaking about moving out of this darkness, lifting that veil and finally seeing the clear, um, the clear skies. So I think someone is definitely unveiling something to you. This is also supported by the Four of Cups um, over here. So I think there's there could be a reveal of some sort, but I think for the most part, it's part of the growth, part of the journey between you and your um, significant other, so um, it's definitely, it, it looks promising in terms of relationships, in terms of work or career um, facets or aspects. The Ten of Swords is something that's changing within your career. For some of you, you're putting a major ending to a job project, um, to a creative project. Uh, maybe you're ending to work at a company. <clears throat> the Ten of Swords is can be stagnancy though. So if you've experienced this period of stagnancy, <clears throat> excuse me, in the workplace, then I definitely think with the Ten of Swords here, you're about to come out of this. And I think positive changes, beautiful things await. For others, it could be something about relocating or something to do with distant shores. There could be someone, um, either a family member or a friend or a relationship person that's coming in from overseas. There could be some sort of um, association or link here from someone that's visiting from across the seas because we do see new lands here. So there could be potential relocation or vacation. But I think for the most part, there's someone that's coming from different shores that's reaching out to you or that you'll be liaising with. So it could definitely be a long distance relationship. You do have the two of cups here. So this can denote someone is coming in um, for love and pursuing you for a relationship. So that's definitely possible here with the ten of swords. Moving on, you have the moon card. Now, the moon card traditionally is about creativity, anxieties, woe, worry, intuition. It could be that your intuition is very much heightened. Um, when I think of the moon card, there could be an associ association with astrology and the phases of the moon. So this could certainly um, affect your uh, your attitudes. It can affect your mood this month, um, especially if your sign is in, if your moon sign is in water, which mine is, mine is in cancer. So... <clears throat> I think for those that do have sort of this emotional um, water-filled um, element in their moon sign will be feeling it this month. Now, in terms of relationships, there could be a bit of anxiety, creativity, intuition going on with the um, with your relationships. Um, there could be turbulence, as I said, but I think you're coming out of it for the most part for some of you. Um, you know, especially we see these two towers here. So you have the moon, you see these two towers, and there's this turbulent water that needs to be crossed. And to make it from one tower to the other or to come through, you know, we have to we have to go across these choppy waters. So it can be emotionally um, chaotic. It can be emotionally taxing. It can be draining. <clears throat> but I think for the most part, this has to happen this way so you can grow and learn about yourself. 
and just remind yourself that the water isn't always, you know, calm and beautiful as we see it. But to get from one point, to move on to the next tower, to come through the, through to the towers, the moon can um, give us this sort of um, anxiety and it can pull us in different directions. This is the case even in a work situation. The same concept is completely applicable here. Um, <clears throat> to get from point A to B, you know, we have to cross these waters. So there could be turbulence happening here that can cause strife, that can cause conflict at work even. Um, <clears throat> again, it could be, you know, there's, there is this focus on this large moon here. And with this moon comes, um, you know, the lunar pushes and pulls, the lunar tides, etc. So you may want to look at your um, astrological and planetary um, locations and elements, you know, the planetary transits happening for you this month because it could definitely affect you. So, um, and, and you will come out of this because you have cards here that denote out of this stagnancy and out of this what can be emotional turmoil, you will come out, you will prevail, and you will seek what it is that you're after. There's also a lot of creativity and a lot of ideas that might be coming to you this month. If this is through work or through a relationship, things to spice your relationship up or things you can, changes you can make or implement at work here with the moon card. You have the four of swords, which does indicate that further reflection on this project, further reflection on this idea is needed. So you're being creative about something. There's a lot of ideas that are coming to you, but the four of swords is almost like a warning, not a warning, I should say, a reminder that <clears throat> this would be the perfect time to stop, reflect, and um, analyze this a little bit more. So um, that could mean different things for different people, definitely. Um, moving on, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of realization, epiphanies. This is you sitting at your tree of life, and you're assessing your options here, as you always do. You're very analytical. You're very methodical in your thinking, and, you know, God bless you for that. But there's something unexpected that's going to be handed to you this month that's going to probably throw a spanner in the works. Um, <clears throat> I think this could have something to do with the Ten of Swords and the Moon card down here. There could be some sort of link with this, but the Four of Cups is sudden realizations. It is the hand of God that's offering you something new. <clears throat> For some, you could be meeting a soulmate this month if you haven't already I know love has been on the forefront for a lot of you but I think this is the year a lot of you are finally meeting this person this person you've been so patiently waiting for here with the temperance card <clears throat> coming out of this stagnancy and it doesn't necessarily have to be in a relationship I'm so sorry <clears throat> it could be that you're meeting this person for the first time or collaborating with someone significant who's going to prove very very benevolent for you down the line but the Four of Cups is, it could be something to do with the three or four. You might have to wait three days, three weeks, three months, four days, four weeks, four months for a result or something. But I feel for the most part, it's illumination. <clears throat> something is coming to illumination here with the Four of Cups. I think you're going to be genuinely surprised if this isn't a relationship something is going to be revealed about the other person and you'll either a have to reflect on it take time off the relationship or b it's going to make you grow closer so it's it could be something about someone's past um it could also be a surprise a surprise gift that gets handed to you this month from someone special or from a secret admirer definitely if the Four of Cups is in a work situation, it could be that you are um, receiving something. It could be an offer. It could be a new associate you have to be working with, you have to be um, reporting to. But you, when you're not seeing it yet, and you might not see it until the end of the month. You might not see it until much later, but it's definitely... Um, and it's something you've been waiting for, I feel. I almost feel like the verdict is in, something you've been waiting for or hoping to achieve, something that you've been asking for is, is happening here. You do have the temperance card. This talks about, you know, needing temperance, um, perhaps not being too temperamental. There will come a time where your cup will overflow and you'll be sharing it between two. So for some, I definitely feel it's really, really strong love, friendships, collaborations. 
<clears throat> could be with Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, potentially. <clears throat> but with the Temperance card, <clears throat> your cup is overflowing here. So there's, a, there's an abundance of something that's um, coming in. And I think emotionally you'll, you'll be very on par with it. I think you're on the right frequency and there's a reason why these beautiful things are coming to you. The Temperance card is an angel, so there's divine orchestration here. There's alchemy. So something you've been working on, you're finally going to see the fruits of your labor. Whether it's a relationship, it's a work project. For some of you, you may be um, involved in something, either a situation, a relationship, that has been stagnant or dark, maybe even abusive. You know, there's a lot of emotion here with the moon card. Maybe it's been unfulfilling for you and you haven't been completely happy. But someone is coming in here and I feel like this is heaven sent. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be on the work front. It can be in a work situation, whether it's, you know, if you are working for a corporation, this could be a colleague, a recruiter, um, a new friend that you make. But I almost feel like you'll be really glad you met this person and in some aspect they're going to they're going to help you. They're going to help you overcome something, whether it's they're going to help you overcome pain, darkness, um, despair, these this stagnancy, these thoughts, whether they I almost feel like they're helping to because you see all this yellow here and there's that yellow here. So I feel this person is crucial to lifting this darkness and lifting the stagnancy. It doesn't have to be in the form of a person. It can be a certain circumstance or event and you'll think, wow, I'm so lucky. Thank God this happened type thing. In a work situation, I feel as though there's breakthroughs that are happening for you. There's new ideas that you need to reflect on if you have your own business or you're working for a company of some sort. There's ideas that you could implement that will give you a lot of praise and people will want to jump on board. You're very creative. Um, you've got a brilliant mind. It's important you share those ideas, that you're vocal about them. Here with the temperance card. Mm. There could be a focus on being outdoors as well for you this month. There is a lot of nature, meditation, walking, hiking. I think this will be good for you, especially if you are in that stagnant period. Otherwise, you will just be in a vicious cycle with your thoughts and that's not helping anybody, certainly not you. So um, maybe this is a, a gentle reminder that, you know, being with the water, um, swimming, being with nature, spending time with animals is important too. It's almost like survival here with the moon card as well. Um, you know, it's, it's animal instincts, it's basic instinct. I love that you have the Two of Cups, though. This is a beautiful union. For some of you, it's a soulmate. It's a collaboration. It's becoming exclusive in a relationship. There's possibly engagement, a surprise engagement coming up, a marriage proposal, moving in together, two people declaring their love for each other, holding their cups up. For some, it's going on a holiday together with a loved one. There's a, there's a church here. The Two of Cups in a work situation can be collaborating with someone. This is also a job interview for some, but you're meeting with someone face-to-face, -face, someone that's going to be helpful for you for a long time coming and is going to change something for you. So they're very beneficial. Could be a Leo Sagittarius. So this is interviews. This is face-to-face -face meetings. Either you'll be pitching a product at work, or there's a review coming up. It could be a meeting. It could be a meeting about stagnancy. Um, you know, if you're in sales or you're in a work for a company or a, um, or for a corporation and you're dealing with sales and movement and products, etc., then I feel as though it, the meeting will be discussing stagnancy. And I think your ideas will be able to change that. Some sort of creative idea you might have. Um, will cause you to be the temperance card and, and bring this beautiful abundance here to you.
there's um, emotional attachment because they are holding their cups together. So for some of you, um, some of you are falling deeply in love unexpectedly and you're scared. I think a lot of you might be scared or hesitant about what's happening. You might, you might not have felt these feelings before, but now that you do, I think you're, you know, quite, you're getting quite emotional because maybe you haven't experienced this before. And maybe it's come to you as a shock because you've, you, you feel like you've had control over this situation and then suddenly it all changes. Suddenly you're feeling new things you haven't felt before because you do have the four of swords. So there's definitely a lot of things happening that are making you want to take time off, wanting, wanting to withdraw, wanting to be alone with your thoughts, wanting some sort of solitude. So again, this could be because of create, creative ideas. If this is in a work situation, there's creative ideas that are coming to you that you need to think on. For some of you, um, someone's offering you love, offering you a relationship, and you're unsure of it. And whether or not you accept this relationship, this could be the key person that helps you in some way. Whether or not you take on this you know, offer, you might even be friends, you become friends with this person instead, and then you'll you'll find that they'll help you through quite a bit. This can be a holiday, visiting historical sites, visiting tombs, grave sites, churches, religious houses, museums. This could be where you meet someone. Or this could be where you gain an idea or an inspiration if you work in, you know, writing, creating things, books, ideas, blogging, definitely. But something to do with three and four. Because you have the three swords here and then the fourth one is down here. You have the three cups here and then the fourth one is up here. So I think something significant could happen. Um, you need to look out for that because this is when this person could come in or these changes um, in your career could be made. Key players, collaborators, especially in business ideas, this could be wholesalers, clients, customers, um, and you'll feel their heaven sent. You really will. You'll really appreciate them there. You won't. You might not necessarily see it at the time, but they'll, um, some, there's either a big reveal with this person, they'll hand you something. <clears throat> Okay, let's have a look at love. I'm going to take three more cards out for love and three for career and professional. For some of you, you're reuniting with someone, a family member, someone coming from across the seas potentially. Okay, so you have the magician. You have the eight of swords. And then you have the star card. Wow. Okay. So faded events, circumstances, places, and people are coming into your um, are, um, are coming into your love life. Could be an Aquarius as well here. This is someone that has fame or someone that's idolized, looked up to. This is someone that can offer you healing. And there's these sort of two cards that potentially um, talk about healing here. So in terms of love. There's healing that's happening. They're going to help you in terms of your relationships, not just love, love with your siblings, love with your friends. Someone's going to help you heal and you will overcome this. And you need to place your trust in this person. You know, if you know, if you have, if your heart, your heart does have the better judgment, but if you know this person is helpful for you, you will listen to them. There's a reason why they're in your stars, they're in your path. For some, it's definitely a destined meeting here. Um, if, if this still hasn't taken place and you haven't met your soulmate, they're coming, they're on their way, they're just stuck in traffic, okay? Um, and then you have the magician, okay, the magician, very nice. The magician talks about new beginnings, manifestations, creating something new out of nothing, out of nothing, you know, we see growth. Um, this is the god of vegetation here because he's green. He gives birth to the Nile. He inundates the, uh, the Nile, the river Nile, so that plants and crops can grow. So he really is um, a bringer of new life. It could be pregnancy for some of you, something that you've been waiting for for a while. Um, but I just want to mention here with the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords is your, um, is your thoughts. It's anxiety. It's doom. You feel um, there's censorship, so there's, you, you have your guard up. Um, you're uncertain about this. It very much relates to the Ten of Swords. 
So in a relationship, it's Uh, in relationships and love, there's stagnancy and you you keep conjuring up past experiences, you keep dwelling on the past. If there's skeletons in the closet, you know, if there's a certain past you don't want people to know about, you keep dwelling on this and this is preventing your relationships from moving forward. So for the most part, this person is in your stars, don't block them, they're wanting to help you. This sibling, this person, this love relationship, they're wanting to move move on with you, they're wanting to heal, they're wanting to grow with you, they really are. So that's in regards to love. Um, let's have a look at career, work, um, creative projects potentially. And there's, they have to illuminate something here with the Four of Cups. So something needs to be revealed about them. So stay patient and, and, and don't fret too much yet. You still have a lot of things to learn. Um, okay, eight, uh, sorry, the Empress. <clears throat> the Empress in a work situation, the Tower. Okay, big shake-up at work is happening here with the Tower card. I want to focus on this for a little bit. Um, this does speak about things come crum crumbling down. Um, it could be stagnancy or some sudden change happens in the workplace. It could be um, redundancy. It could be that uh, the corporation isn't doing, the company isn't doing as well. They're having a tower moment. They need to have this meeting. They need your ideas. So there's a pivotal point happening at work sometime this month. There will be a tower moment. Whether it's because someone goes on holiday, someone takes time off, um, and then you're sort of left with someone else or you're collaborating with someone else here with the Two of Cups. There's a tower moment happening. What else do you have? You have the Empress and Five of Chalices. Five of Chalices is the Eye of Horus. It doesn't carry the traditional meaning as in the Rider Waite deck. The Five of Chalices is protection. It's natural order. It's guardianship. So you, there's support here coming for you. And as I said, whether it's in the form of a person, I really think this person will show up in either your relationships or your work and they're going to offer you this support. There's a support system here. There's solace for some reason or another. Whether you're not, it's because you're going through this with the moon card, this anxiety, crossing these turbulent emotional waters. Um, someone is definitely on your side and helping you here. Um, could be the people at work. You might find that they're really supportive this month and um, really trying to give you their all. Um, and you'll be really appreciative of that because of the tower card. You'll need their support. Um, you'll need the help, definitely. But the Empress is beautiful. New ideas, new manifestations, um, pregnancy, fertility, fecundity, productivity, new ideas that will be implemented and that you'll see the results from. Um, and someone in a high position might contact you for one reason or another. Could be for a job interview. Could be for a meeting. I think you might be talking to someone that's quite influential um, around you in the workplace. Again, if you have your own business, the Empress says you'll be taking the reins. You'll be taking on a lot more duties potentially this month um, in terms of work and creative projects. So that's really exciting. All the best and hopefully we'll chat soon. Bye for now.